Hey guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's start with the question today. So today's question is based on the idea of finding the areas using definite integrals. And if you see, we need to find the region bounded by the curves y equals to f of x and y equals to g of x between the lines 2x is equal to 1 and 2x is equal to root 3. So if I solve this further, I get x is equal to half and x is equal to root 3 by 2. So if I plot this lines first, so we'll understand our curves f of x and g of x later, but let's understand these two lines. One is x is equal to half. Let's say half is here. So x is equal to half is your line parallel to y axis at a distance of half units from y axis. x is equal to root 3 by 2 is let's say somewhere here. So root 3 by 2 is also 1.73 divided by 2. So 0 0.866 something. So these are the two lines where your region is lying. Further, it is telling us that there are two curves, y equals to f of x and y equals to g of x. Now, if I see f of x, that is given to us as from 0 to half, it is given as y equals to x. So y equals to x is your straight line that goes like this, y equals to x. At x equals to half, you have it as half. And further from half to 1, it is given f of x as 1 minus x. So 1 minus x will be again a declining line. Right? If I see the intersection point of this, this is your line y equals to 1 minus x. And here if you see x is root 3 by 2. So the point of intersection here is root 3 by 2. And this comes out to become 1 minus root 3 by 2. So the y coordinate here is 1 minus root 3 by 2. Now further, if I want to solve this, other idea y equals to g of x is given to us as a parabola. So parabola, if you see, it is a, again a function that has given by x minus half the whole square. If I further square it, it becomes x square minus x plus 1 by 4. So I have just applied the idea a square minus 2ab plus b square here to get the answer. Now if you see here, if I compare this with the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c, I understand c is 1 by 4 which is the y-intercept. So it is touching y-intercept is somewhere at 1 by 4. Okay, And if you see this coordinate, it is nothing but half and half. Now, A here, if you compare it, it is 1 that is positive. And when A is positive, what happens is you get a U-shaped parabola. So I'll have a parabola like this. Now let's understand what happens at x equals to half and root 3 by 2 because we need to find the area in this region between the two lines, right? So if I put x as half here in this function g of x, so if I put x as half here, what happens is y becomes x squared, so half square is 1 by 4, minus half plus 1 by 4. So this becomes 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, that is 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, that is 0. So basically, at x equals to half, this parabola intersects in the x-axis or y equals to 0. So this is your one coordinate, that is half comma 0. Now let's also understand what happens when you have put x as root 3 by 2. So when you put x as root 3 by 2, what do you get? Let's see. So it becomes x square again. So 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 minus root 3 by 2. So you get it as 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1. 1 minus root 3 by 2. Now 1 minus root 3 by 2 means y is also same which we have written here. So basically your parabola intersects at the same point only. This point is nothing but intersection of three lines or intersection of three curves here. One is this straight line, one is this straight line, 1 minus x, and the third is this parabola. So now if I see, I get the common region for me between the two lines, and that is this region. So this is the common region which I get here with all the coordinates we have got that. Now let's just find the area of this. So if I take a vertical strip, that would be much more beneficial here because entire vertical strip goes from this parabola to this line, right? So let's understand that. 
So area here becomes f of x dx. Now limits go from, so if I see this, the limits goes from half to root 3 by 2. So your limits are half to root 3 by 2. Now let's talk about the function. So f of x or any function of x, if I talk about here, it is going from this line minus, I will do this parabola. Because if I take this line means all the region, entire region below it is present, but I will have to subtract it from parabola to see this vertical strip. So it is the straight lines equation minus the equation of parabola. So straight lines equation is, so if I write at half root three by two, the straight lines equation here is one minus X minus the equation of parabola, which I have with me. So X square minus X plus one by four DX, right? So if I see now it is half to root three by two, here the equation is one minus X minus X square plus X minus one by four DX. What happens here is X gets canceled. You are left with half to root three by two. Further, if I solve this becomes one minus one fourth, that is three fourth minus x square dx. So again, the limits if I see, or if I now I directly apply the integration, I can do that. So let's apply that. So if I apply the idea here, three by four integration of one is x minus x squares integration becomes x cubed by three, right? And this goes from half to root three by two. So now let's just put the limits and get the answer for the question. So if I put the limits here, I get three by four into X. So X is, let's put the upper limit first. So root three by two minus X cubed by three was there. So one by three into X cubed by three is root three by two cube. Minus, if I put the lower limit, three by four into half minus one by three into one by two. So now what I get here is, 3 root 3 by 8 minus this becomes 3 root 3 again, but this is 3 into 8. Further, it gives me 3 by 8 minus 1 by 3 into 1 by 8. So now if I solve this further, I can take 3 root 3 by 8 common from the first bracket. What I'm left with here is 1 minus 1 third minus this becomes, I can take 1 by 8 common from here. What I'm left with is 3 minus 1 by 3. Now further, if I solve this, becomes 3 root 3 by 8 into 2 third minus, this becomes 1 by 8 into 3 minus 1 by 3. It is 9 minus 1 by 3, or I can write it as 8 by 3. So 8 gets cancelled here. Here also, if I cancel, 3 gets cancelled. Two ones are two fours are. So what I'm left with here is root three by four minus one by three, right? So I get the answer here as root three by four minus one by three. And if you see the options for this, that matches as A. So A is the answer for the question asked. So this was a very easy question. Again, you just need to plot the curves and you will get the region. So basically it was the straight lines region minus the parabolas region from the limits of the lines given from x equals to half to x equals to root three by two. And hence we get the answer as A. I hope you have understood this question very well. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then you can like, share and subscribe if you are finding this really helpful. Thank you.